Hello, I'm Jeff M. Brown, a legal writer with the State Bar of Wisconsin. I'm here to talk with State Bar President-elect Margaret Hickey about member opportunities to serve on one or more of the bar's 15 committees. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning, Jeff. How important are, are the committees to bar governance and administration? You know, without the service of members on our committees, I don't know that we could function as well and as effectively as we do. Service by bar members on committees is integral to the work that we do. And so we hope that lawyers will volunteer to assist us uh, in all the really great work that the um, State Bar does for its members. Can you tell us a little bit about your service on bar committees over the years? I have served on quite a few committees of the State Bar and I have found the work always interesting, challenging, educational. And so uh, that's part of why I do recommend it to others. And specifically, I served on leadership development committee for about 15 years. And I worked on that committee um, in the mentoring program in particular, and uh, connecting up lawyers uh, with more experience to younger lawyers and helping them uh, in their professional practice. Uh, it's really rewarding uh, it just in terms of making those connections. Uh, the other bar committee that I've served on lately for probably about eight years now is the Diversity Inclusion uh, Oversight Committee. And uh, again, very important to the work that we do. And specifically on that committee, I served working on education for attorneys about diversity issues. And first of all, I've learned a lot, which I think all of us uh, can um, expand our knowledge and it's good to do that. Um, but I also feel good about the work that I did trying to help um, educate members of the bar about the importance of diversity and inclusion in our practice. So uh, that's just two examples. I've served on a few other committees, but uh, that's two of the ones that I found most rewarding. Okay, thanks. What, what did the service in those committees mean to you in, in your career? So I don't think any of us do this necessarily because we're going to get something back. Uh, but it's surprising how much I feel that I've gotten back from serving on those committees. So I already mentioned the educational component, which for me, I think as a lawyer, you never get tired of learning. And there's always stuff that we are sometimes surprised that we don't know. So for me, that's been really helpful in my career. But the other thing that I've done is make connections to other attorneys that I, I never would have made had I not been active in state bar committees. So we all have our little niche, right? We're in our little um, area of practice, we're in our communities, and that's kind of where we focus. But one of the things that the bar committees do uh, and did for me is to broaden uh, my perspective in terms of lawyers that I know and um, areas of practice. So I would say that I have met uh, lawyers from all across the state, uh, including out of state, because we have uh, non-resident lawyers participating in some of these committees. Uh, and that has enriched my practice and it's enriched uh, you know, my ability to kind of know who to call when I need something and also um, just getting to know new people, which I enjoy. So. I think um, that's part of what I have gotten back just personally. I'm not mentioning what we hope that we give back as part of a committee member. Sure, sure, thanks. Did your experience on those bar committees play a role in your decision to run for president? I think that it did. Um, I think first of all, being involved in the bar committees helps you to understand, help me to understand how the bar functions, uh, help me to understand you know, how things sort of fit together within the bar and um, making those connections both individually and professionally uh, helped me understand that, you know, maybe I could do the job of uh, bar president elect. And so it uh, gave me some confidence uh, to be able to run for the position, but also just understanding how bar things work. Uh, also uh, meeting leadership, uh, meeting uh, the bar, other bar presidents and uh, other bar leaders uh, was helpful to me in, in making the decision, I think, yeah. Great. Well, I, I know that, uh, that most of the members will join me in, in, in saying that we hope the start of your turn, uh, your term marks a return to a little more return to a bit of a normal and some more in-person gatherings. And so that some of those interactions that you talk about happening with, with bar committee service can, can happen and again. Can, can I comment on that, uh, sure. Jeffrey? So one thing about the bar that 
you know, we all talk about the pandemic and it's been rough and nobody has um, liked what's happened in the last two years. But one of the things about bar service that's made a little bit easier is that most of these committee meetings have been virtual. Mm -hmm. And so if you're a person practicing in uh, Menominee or um, maybe uh, on the western part of the state in La Crosse or, or, or Hudson, uh, you know, you don't have to come to every committee meeting you can do it virtually. And I know that after, if we get to a post pandemic, which I sure hope we do, uh, there'll be a lot of these committees that continue to meet virtually. And that lets people be involved without you know, spending a lot of hours in the car traveling to go to a meeting. So uh, I know that um, pandemic has been uh, bad in a lot of ways, but maybe that's something we've learned from it and that has made participation uh, in bar committees a bit easier for people. So I hope that's the case. Well, that's great because that that would um, you know you're, what you're describing is is sort of a, a second silver lining uh, that offers greater access to committees the same way that some of the same technological uh, realities offer greater access to justice for people in Greater Wisconsin. So good that good to know that it's a two for not just a one for. Right, and and so I hope people will consider serving on a committee. Uh, the committees cover such a broad area, uh, everything from ethics to LOMAP, which is, you know, the internal um, administration of your office, uh, to the communications committee, which deals with uh, things like uh, the lawyer uh, magazine and other kinds of communications. There's so many ways to get involved. So uh, whatever your interest, my expectation is that there's a committee that would fit your, uh, each individual's um, interests or desires. Great, great. Well, thanks again for talking with me today, Margaret, and look forward to seeing you sometime uh, during your term in person, hopefully. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeffrey. Appreciate it.